With the release of Destiny 2 Lightfall, Bungie made some trials changes. Now, if you did not know, when Trials was released, they essentially added a way that you can get your hands on Astral Horizon, Igneous Hammer. Now, unfortunately, you can't get the Adept one unless you played Season of the Chosen. However, the normal one is still very, very great. Now, with that being said, the role I'm running in today's video is Quick Draw Snapshot with Ricochet, Flutter Barrel, Range Masterwork with Adept Range. We have a total of 90 range. Now, yes, this is a 120 RPM hand can. However, um, 120s are actually really, really good, surprisingly. I was kind of surprised, and you'll see why. Anyways, let's get right into today's video. Before we get in the gameplay, I would like to say we have a special sponsor today. I would like to recommend you a great service. The Ving.net, you can find teams to complete different activities like raids, dungeons, trials of all stars, exotic farms, and many more. All the services can be done without account sharing. You don't need to give your login or password. To order a service that you like, you need to choose the sell play option. When you select something that you like, choose your platform. In this case, if you play on PC, select PC. From here, to choose the sell play option, go all the way down and then click sell play. After you're satisfied with what you're going to purchase, Add to cart and then click purchase. After finding out what you want to purchase, you're going to want to go to your coupons and type code hectic for a 15% discount on all products. From here, type your email so that they can contact you. Then choose a payment method and check out. I'd highly advise this service. The best part is, is you can contact an operator at all times, 24 seven. We finally found a game. We got a Alter Flame match, which is actually really, really good for 120 hand cannons. So I'm pretty excited to play this out. This is the first game of the day. So let's see how this plays out. Ideally, I know somebody's right here as well. There we go, I got him down. I can't lie, like it does outgun 140s, but if you do miss shots, it's gonna be super detrimental, obviously. That is a SMG. Oh man, I cannot wait for SMGs to get nerfed. I'm just gonna honestly try and play further back against this kind of SMG player team. Ideally, I mean, it is kind of hard to play slower, but I feel like when, you know, SMGs get nerfed, this thing is gonna be super good again. It was always really good, but low key, I just kind of like it now a lot more than before. 120s were also meta at a point around the stasis meta, which was debatably in my opinion. I know I'm gonna start a huge argument, but uh, Honestly, I like the game the most during the stasis meta. I got that guy down. This thing doesn't really feel like a 120 either. It feels more like a 140. I know there's someone right here. That's an SMG. Oh, I'm kind of getting sandwiched in here. I'm in a really bad spot. Good shot on that guy's side. Ideally, for this map, I think the best play style is just to sit further back and kind of let the players come to me. I'm going to slide this right lane and hope maybe somebody is right around here. Let's see. Uh, nobody appears to be right around this corner. Oh, I missed some really easy shots. I honestly deserve to lose this gunfight. Someone with an SMG is right around here. I'm going to throw a trip mine. Slide down here. Oh. Oh, no. There we go. I got that guy down. I'm kind of getting flanked from my right and left. So I definitely got to watch that uh, angle out. There's an SMG pushing me from around these angles for sure. I can hear the Warlock floating. Someone's going to peek this, as I suspected. Oh, I had to reload. The only downside is this thing only has 8 bullets if you don't run the bonus mag. But if you don't have a Adept 1, run a bonus mag, preferably. I outgunned that dude with the hand cannon. He switched to one as well. Good shots on that guy's side. If you hit crits, though, you're going to win every engagement with this hand cannon. And it's honestly just so much fun. Maybe it's more just nostalgia for me with 120 meta. However, I still really enjoy this combo and it still is good like there's nothing wrong with running a 120 especially on maps like this that are generally long range no shame in that i know this guy definitely probably has a shotgun on 120 you just really have to hit every hand cannon shot so if you are a good player you're not gonna have a hard time with this fortunately oh good shot on that guy's side he really had a nice shot i'm just gonna ideally try and play angles as well like on this map because one thing I noticed since I started playing on this map is 
most of the engagements you're getting are based off angles. Like, if you don't have good positioning. I got that guy down with my trip mine shotgun combo. Like, look at that range. That's 72, probably 50 meters at least. Like, that's super fun to use. I mean, they... And keep in mind, like, if you guys played back in the Beyond Light meta, you'd know how long-ranged these things were. Like, they were insane back in the day. Got that guy down. I know there's definitely somebody that's going to be on my left. I'm going to grab Heavy, but probably not going to use it. Just so no one else gets it. Because I can't be asked to play Heavy and Rumble. Just makes the game a little more fun. I'm going to slide down here. There's definitely going to be somebody with... The oh, yeah, I hear that bow. I have no clue where these guys are. And I'm getting flanked from behind. Oh, that dude is a thorn on. This is not good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude. Nice shots on that guy's side. Honestly, if I could have just pulled out the shotgun a little faster, I probably could have won that engagement. Somebody right there around that corner. I'm probably going to get really uh, shot at from my left. I'm going to throw a trip mine here. Oh, he's in as well. I'm going to definitely... Actually, you know what? No, nah, we're not backing out of this, guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> dude just gave up. Can't blame him. That guy's dead. But, like, look at that range, dude. That's That's filthy. I mean, you, if you want to have your radar too, you could also run the helmet, the hunter helmet. But, I mean, you really don't need your radar when scoping in. Because most of the time you're going to have an angle already on where teams are. And the great thing is if you get first shot off, you're going to flinch your target. So it's almost instant. Even if you aren't hitting crits 24-7. That's the fun thing about this. That dude has an SMG, so I'm probably going to try and back off here. Got that guy down. There's definitely that SMG dude right around here. I don't like playing against SMGs. Got that guy down. There we go. I'm going to try and back up on my health. I know there's somebody right around here. Throw my trip at mine and see what I can do. I want to get the last kill with a hand cannon. I'm probably going to get hit from my right. Oh, I got that guy. Let's go. Not the funnest way to end the game, but we pulled it off. Um... Overall, though, you definitely should try this hand cannon out. Igneous Hammer. It is... Let's see how we played, first of all. We went a 5.25. Pretty good. Um, Yeah, this is the Igneous Hammer roll I'm running for anybody curious. We got almost all our kills with this thing. I love it. The stats are just fantastic. Let me know if you guys are going to be rocking it. Have a great day. Stay safe.